All right, guys, welcome back. And the last thing that we need to do for this program is now that we have all of these individual tools created to find the domain name, IP address, nmap, robots.txt, who is, we got all these individual tools. I'm just going to make a single function to run all of them at once. So then all the user has to do is pretty much give it URL and hit run, and it gathers all of those automatically. Now, I'm actually just going to stick all of the results in a separate directory. I can just store, store them in the same directory as this, but then I got all my results, you know, jumbled up with all my source code. So instead, I'm just going to make, actually, let me make this a constant. So root underscore directory. And what am I going to name this? I'll just name it like uh, companies. So you can name this companies, targets, projects, whatever, but this is just going to be a separate folder inside here. And then every uh, website I scan is going to be stored in a folder inside here. Like the new Boston, it's going to have its own folder. Reddit's going to have its own folder. And that way everything is nice and, or nice and organized. So I'm just going to write greater root directory. And again, remember what this does, we did this in the first video, is it just checks if that directory is created or not. And if it's not created, then it creates it. So that way we can run this the first time and it's going to work. And then we can run it another time and it's not going to like freak out and override it and delete everything. It's just going to work uh, perfectly every time. So let me tighten this up a bit. Actually, let me give myself a tidbit more space to work with. I like being able to scroll for some reason. All right. So this is going to be the main function that the user is going to call and we'll just call it gather info. So all they're going to do here is they're going to pass in the name of the company and this is just going to be like the new Boston or eBay or whatever and then the URL of the website. Now we're passing in the name because whenever we make these folders to organize everything each of the folders is just going to have a new name and we'll let the user decide whatever they want to you know name their folder. So basically all we're going to do from here is we're going to go through each one of these tools and remember these tools all they do is they run a scan and they return the results. So what we're going to do is we're just going to call them and essentially just save the results and then save it to a file. Pretty simple. Ugh. Got like weird phlegm in my throat. Okay. So the first one, I'll just do them in order of how I imported them. So the domain name in order to get this we just call get domain name and this just takes the URL easy and actually let me show you what this ending gather info is gonna look like right here so this gather info is gonna take two parameters the first one is gonna be the new Boston and this is just gonna be what my project folder is gonna be named and the second one is just going to be the full URL, like HTTPS. Uh, let's just write newboston.com. And we can add that ending forward slash if we want, or we can exclude it. Remember, it doesn't matter because we wrote a check and balance for that. So what this is going to do is whenever we pass in the URL, it's just going to return the top level domain, the newboston.com. Simple enough. Now from here, we can, let me just do this. We can get the IP address and the IP address, we need to pass in the URL as well. So the next thing we have to do is we need to get the results of the nmap scan and that is get nmap. And you see this takes two parameters, the any um, optional parameters that we want and also the IP. So by default, I'll just have a minus F, which just means a fast scan. And this just runs a little bit quicker. It, it doesn't scan that many ports. And remember, this doesn't take a URL. It takes the IP address. And since we got that in the previous line, we can now pass that in. Look how neat that is. And now robots.txt. What we can do is we can get this. And the robots.txt, this takes the URL. So if we just write, could probably type that faster than copy in, but whatever. And now the who is, I'll just write who is. 
equal get who is. Now this also takes the, it says URL, but it's actually the domain name. Because remember, it can't use um, like this right here. It has to use the top level domain name, which is the newboston.com. So that's why we need to pass in the domain name right here. And now what we did up to this point is we pretty much just ran all those tools and we now have all of the data from all those tools in variables right here. So now we can make one more function and all this function is going to do is it's going to save this text and write them to a text file. So we're going to write, uh, we'll just call it create report. And we're going to pass in all of the information. So name, which was, you know, whatever the company's name is, uh, the URL, the domain name, uh, what else do we got? The end map, robots.txt, and the who is. All right, so now we actually have to create this. So again, all this gather uh, info function does is it runs all these tools and gets the results. And now this create report is just going to save them to a text file. And we can actually just use this if you want to be really lazy about it. Since we'll just keep all the same parameters. Now remember that each new website you scan, which is essentially a new project, you want to save it inside a new directory. So what we can do is we can actually, I'll just say project underscore dir. So this website's directory is the root directory, which is just going to be companies. And then we'll just add um, a little forward slash for the path and then the name. So again, if we scan the new Boston, this is going to be in a directory called companies, the new Boston. You scan eBay, it's going to be inside a company's directory, inside another um, folder called eBay, and then all of our text files are going to go in there. It's going to be nice and organized. All right. So from there, all we need to do is we need to create that directory, and it was called projects directory. And now we pretty much just need to write every file. So write file, and let me run that again so you guys can see. So write file, and this takes two parameters, the path, in other words, what's the file name, where do you want to save it, and then the data itself, what do you want to write to the file, and of course all of those are just whatever we got from right there. So write file, and the path is always going to be the project's directory, since where we're saving it is depending on what website we're scanning, simple enough. And then we'll just do these one by one. So I'll uh, just write like a full URL uh, that text. And let me, uh, let me do this. All right. So that way we know that the URL we pass in, this one, is actually the full URL. And I just want to. Um, rename it so we don't get it confused with the top level domain which is the new boston.com so you know I can actually copy this we'll see one two three four one two three four all right so let's do this really easy so domain name and map robots.txt and who is. Robust.txt and who is. So again, whatever the tool's name, we'll just name the file the same thing. And all right, mate, that looks good. Now I have to clear out these lines or else it's probably gonna yell at me. And I think that is it. Full domain and map, boom roasted. All right. So now let me go ahead and run this, and if I didn't mess anything up, then what we should see is a folder being created right here, and then another folder inside it called the newboston.com, and all of these results at once. So cross your fingers, and let's see if this works. 
and it takes a little bit of time and what you may want to do is inside each of those tools right when the function starts you may want to write like uh, just print out something to the command line so people can see that you know it didn't freeze on them like uh, scanning for the who is or doing an nmap scan or whatever but check this out alright so it looked like it created that company's folder and inside the new Boston we now got all actually we messed up because alright we didn't we need to add this right here so I'm actually going to delete this and I'll run that bad boy again dun, 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 scanning my website and this is gonna work alright so companies the new Boston and check this out so we now have all the information and one big shebang the domain name the full URL the results of an nmap scan robots.txt who is boom roasted and if we ever want to scan a new website instead of going through the command line the terminal and typing all that which is going to take us forever all we have to do is give it a new project name give it a new URL hit run and boom roasted so we now are saving ourselves a bunch of time and by the way one last thing I'm going to leave you with is this I'm going to post this on GitHub, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, there's a 98% chance that I'm not going to maintain this tool, and that's just because, you know, I'm lazy, essentially. But if you guys want to add your own modules, and, you know, you want to run your own scans, then go ahead and fork it, or, um, you know, add one to mine, and I'll accept it. So, yeah, if you guys want to help me build this, then there you go but I'm not like gonna be updating it so you know don't write me messages back like, hey add some more modules add this add that but uh yeah if you guys want to help out I'll definitely accept it so thank you guys for watching and uh well that's all I got for you so uh I'll see you guys in the next series